Hey everybody, how's it going? So we have a co-sponsor for our bill in the Senate. That is Senator Neil Breslin. I'll let you listen to what he has to say here. I'm delighted to be here and with my dear friend, Assemblywoman Lepardo, to sponsor this bill in both the Senate and the Assembly. And it seems to me that it's a very common sense bill. And when you hear the 24,000 phones a year in New York State are thrown into the waste bin uh, and clogging up our canals and our rivers and our lakes. Uh, it's about time that we allowed with digital equipment, and that goes right up to uh, John Deere farm equipment, uh, to be repaired, uh, not having to go to the manufacturer who would have exclusivity in the past. And whenever you have exclusivity to fix something, uh, I, there, there isn't the competition between and among, and prices tend to rise up. Uh, we want to make sure that an individual has the right to repair, that he can go to a repair shop and have the directions on how to fi uh, fix it from the manufacturer. And we're not looking in this legislation to not protect uh, trade secrets. They still will be valued, but it gives a, a nice uh, degree of competition to correct and fix products uh, that are out in the marketplace. And as was explained, uh, for college students that might have an iPhone or a computer, to be able to go to the shop down the street and have it fixed uh, is well worth it. And I'm delighted to be a sponsor of this legislation. So as you can tell, he is familiar with the arguments against the legislation, and he just chomps it down. He's like, no, we're not looking for your trade secrets. No, just, no. This is common sense legislation. He understands why it exists. And I keep drilling this home, but it's really, really important, which is why I keep bringing it up. When we were in Maine, when I saw the way the co-sponsor introduced the legislation, it was very clear and evident to me, as they then mentioned, that groups of lobbyists and interest groups showed up, knocked on their door, and said, hey, what are you doing? What are you doing with this legislation? And it made him much more nervous and just kind of shaky when it came to presenting that legislation. And I think it's really important that when people choose to support this legislation, that we get behind them. So that even if there are 12 or 20 or 30 people that show up at their office to, to speak against the bill, that there are tens of thousands of emails flooding their inbox saying, I'm in favor of this. Thank you. You did the right thing. And while there may be lobbyists that are going to tell you you did the wrong thing, and they're going to, it's going to seem like there's a lot of them because there's 10 or 20 of them representing 20 different trade associations or 20 different companies. There's thousands of people behind you, and they outnumber the lobbyists that show up. You have to understand that when a senator co-sponsors a bill like this and stays by his word, that there are doors that are going to close for that senator. One of the things that I brought up is that the Consumer Technology Association according to followthemoney.org, has spent over $1.7 million on politicians, it seems. I've brought up how Kim Roback gave over $2,000 or $3,000 to Bob Chris, the senator, with interesting timing with regards to them voting no on the right to repair bill in Nebraska, and so on and so forth. They, these senators are giving up opportunity, they're giving up support, and I imagine they're giving up a lot of money to speak in support of this legislation. So they are closing doors in order to stand up for us. And I think it's only right that we stand up for them. Congratulate them. Say thank you very much. I appreciate what you're doing. I appreciate your support of the bill. I appreciate the fact that you are not taking the opposition arguments, which are a joke, seriously. And I appreciate that you did your homework, read through the bill, listened to both sides of the argument, and said, you know what? I think this is the right thing to do. So I left a link in the description down below that you could use if you'd like to send him a message saying thank you very much for co-sponsoring this bill. I got my I, my own senator to decide that they were going to sign on. I'd like to meet with the senator and assembly person that represent the district that my new store is going to be in soon. They're actually going to be available very close to the time that it is time for my uh, for the the store to be opening. So I'm kind of thinking of inviting them to the store opening party and just you know, having a robust conversation. So that's it for today. And as always, I hope you learned something. Again, everything we're doing here would not have been possible without you. All of these, these senators actually realizing this is an issue, this is not just because people showed up at their office. This is because tens of thousands of people voiced their opinions online. The fact that this is starting to become chatter in everyday conversation. And that couldn't have happened without all of you. So thank you very much for helping us to get to the point where this is such a large issue that is so 
widely spoke about that we can get a senator to co-sponsor a bill right here in my home state. Thank you.